Hey everybody, I'm Sage Kimsey, seven time PRCA world champion bull rider and rookie here for the PBR Unleash the Beast season. What's your go-to breakfast? Uh, my go-to breakfast is actually no breakfast at all. It is a black coffee community breakfast blend is my go-to. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is The Shawshank Redemption. What's your guilty pleasure meal? <laughs> my guilty pleasure meal. Um, I don't really like sweets or anything like that, but the, the one sweet that I do have like a real soft spot for is uh, some cheesecake. So I guess if that would, that would be it. Uh, do you have a hidden talent? Hidden talent? Not really, no. I mean, everybody sees my, my only talent, I think, and that's riding bulls. Who's your favorite artist? My favorite artist. Ooh, that, that's a hard one. I don't really listen to a whole lot of music. I'm more of a podcast guy. What's your favorite podcast then? Uh, gotta be Joe Rogan. What's your workout routine like? Workout routine is I try to split everything up, hit a little bit of everything, uh, plyometrics, mobility, and strength training. Um, that, that's kind of the fun new thing about the PBR is we actually kind of have like a set schedule rodeo and we're just kind of going all week long and uh, you never really know how much travel you're going to have and how much off time you're going to have. So over here, I'm actually going to get to dial in my, my preparation a little bit more. So it'll be fun. I'm still kind of tweaking some things, but yeah, just kind of overall, there's a lot that goes into it. And what motivates you every day? <laughs> what motivates me? My motivation has changed over the course of my career. Um, you know, back in the day, it was always just riding rank bulls and winning a lot of money and getting to have fun with my buddies. And, uh, you know, now it's more, more geared family wise. And, uh, you know, my, my wife and my, my son depend on me. And at the end of the day, like they're who I do this for. So who do you look up to in bull riding? Donnie Gay, Tough Hedeman. You know, our head coach of the Carolina Cowboys, Jerome Davis, Justin McBride, like you name it, there's a ton of guys that I look up to. If you could get on any bull from the past or present, which bull would you choose? Oh my goodness, my dream list of bulls that I could get on is uh, is pretty long. Um, definitely Whoop All whenever he was still going. Um, you know, dating back a little old school, would have loved to get on Red Wolf. Um, there's so many good bulls. What is the most memorable ride in the my most memorable ride in the PBR, to date, there's not very many of them, I guess, but to date right now, it would probably be our homestand event whenever I was 90 plus on um, Mike's Motive. Uh, it was really cool because you know all the Carolina Cowboys fans were into it. It, it was fun. And what's your most memorable ride in the PRCA? Uh, PRCA would have had to have been the year I rode uh, Sweet Pro's Bruiser at the NFR. I was like 94 points and uh, definitely my favorite one. <laughs> Worst wreck of my career. I don't know. There's been quite a few. Um, broke my pelvis, you know, absolutely obliterated my shoulder, broke my collarbone this year. Uh, there's been a bunch of wrecks. And then you decided to ride for the PBR in the regular season this year. Can you rank how excited you are out of 10? <laughs> out of 10, I would say 10 for sure. Um, you know, I've been doing this for for almost a decade at this, a little over a decade at this point. So th there's not a whole lot new, um, especially when we're on the rodeo side of things, because it was one of those deals that, um, you know, I'd been to all the rodeos a ton of times and I I'd done a done a lot of stuff. So, you know, this year coming over to the Unleash the Beast, it's, it's something new, something fresh, and I'm really excited about it. And then who are your locker room buddies? <laughs> My locker room buddies are kind of funny. I feel like most of the guys that are my age are like starting to retire and quitting. Um, me and Cooper have been great friends ever since high school. So, you know, for the teams I hang out with, with Coop and all the Carolina guys, but um, here, I don't know. There's been quite a few guys that I've been hanging out with. I like Trace Red, he's a really good young kid. Uh, we seem to spend some time around one another. Daylin, Connor Halverson always helped me. Um, Keyshawn, I don't know, I'm kind of friends with everybody really. your coach Jerome Davis in one word. One word for Jerome Davis would have to be genuine. He is genuinely one of the best people I've ever been around. Which one of your teammates were you closest to during the team season? I was probably closest to Coop during the team season. Um, like I said, we met for the first time whenever we were like, I think I had just turned 16 and same for him. So we've been friends for a long time. And then what's your favorite memory from the team season? Yeah, it'd probably have to be Coop pulling off the, the night one win there in Greensboro because we had the home fans supporting us. And then you're a Texas cowboy. Can you tell us your favorite thing about Texas? <laughs> favorite thing about Texas? Um, Oof, 
That's a good one. I'd, I'd say the weather. I hate the cold. So uh, it, anytime it's cold, I, I'm out. Texas is usually pretty warm. And is there a certain city you're looking forward to on tour this year? Uh, New York City, for sure. Um, I got to commentate in Madison Square Garden last year, and to get to ride there this year is going to be a dream come true, really. It's uh, kind of hallowed ground whenever you walk onto that arena, into that arena. Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming along. You know, hopefully I answered some questions. Look forward to seeing you on the road this year.